I just want to say, even though I'm going to FSW, I love you, my Hood Slammers. I miss you, and this one's for you. Happy Hood Slam Friday, and Shabbat Shalom, early style. Well, here we are at our first bathroom slash gas station stop. I'm in here with these bunch of nerds. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. Nerds is a good thing. What? I am smart though. You are smart? I'm smart. So, why did you find it offensive that I called you a nerd? Because we're both wearing glasses. That's so stereotypical of you. I know. Am I, be, I'm I don't being like my glasses. Stupid. I hate that I'm blind. Maybe that's very it. unfortunate. I'm being very judgmental. It tends to happen. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens on this journey to me going to Vegas so I can tell Joe DeFalco off. <laughs> But we made it. Let me see if I can get to the light over here. A little bit. And um, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm ready. And we'll see what happens. Today's going to be a crazy day because I got to get to the bus station before 12, like Cinderella, because tomorrow I have a gig in LA that I can't miss. So we'll see what happens. Here's my little pink ski. We're getting ready. And it's going to be fun. I'm already feeling it. Got my amigo over here. story short I'm stuck in Vegas but I got a room here where the guys are staying that drove me up here and I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and do it Vegas style I do miss Danielle though Shabbat Shalom hola well here's the deal are you ready for the deal first of all this is the first time I'm using my little uh, stand thing it doesn't look too bad kind of a weird angle but whatever um, so here I am in Vegas I'm stuck in Vegas I went after the show to the mega bus uh, station and that's when I realized oh I didn't know that I was supposed to only do it online so it's all good in the hood I just got done doing a tweet secret video subscribe and one of the things I had mentioned was I kind of automatically was okay with the situation and missing my acting gig tomorrow because on December 5th, which is the day of the show, now it's officially December 6th, but on December 5th, that is the anniversary of my dad dying in a car accident. So I was kind of feeling ooh about driving at night until the wee hours in the morning and this mega bus. You know, just that like fear and um, so I kind of felt like, you know what, maybe even if it was for my own um, anxiety level I was meant to just stay here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wake up early I'm gonna have breakfast no matter how tired I am and I'm gonna walk around here and do my Martinez girls Vegas style it just sucks that Danielle's not here but maybe next time all right well I guess I'm gonna watch some TV and uh, I'll smell you guys later adios Long story short, I'm stuck in Vegas. I was going to take the mega bus here in Vegas to Los Angeles because I have a gig tomorrow. And when the show was over, we went to the mega bus station. And that's when I learned you have to do it online. I didn't know. So it's all right. I just feel like what's meant to be is meant to be. And I'm not meant to be out on the road. And to be honest with you, I kind of like had a nervousness about it because today, December 5th, is the anniversary of the death of my dad. And I was kind of like, oh, I feel kind of weird like being on the road, a long road trip uh, late at night. So call me crazy, crazy. Um, it was just one of those things where I'm okay with it. Uh, I wish Danielle was here with me, but um, it's, let's see, 1242. So I guess technically now it's December 6th. And um, I'm gonna wake up as early as I can. Breakfast starts at six. And the last time we were here for Natalie's wedding, 
we regretted not getting up even earlier to go walk around. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow because I think it's, you know, it's dark out. I shouldn't be walking by myself. And the guys I came up with, God bless them, but they're just like these young guys. So um, I wasn't going to go out with them, that's for sure. And I didn't even feel like going out. So, all right. Well, I'll see you guys in the morning. Buenos noches. Shabbat shalom. Well, I didn't wake up as early as I'd like to, but um, I'm going to go get breakfast now and uh, see what I can get into. We'll see what happens. Well, I didn't wake up as early as I'd like, but I guess I was really tired. But um, I'm going to go and get some breakfast and see what kind of trouble I could get into this morning while I'm here. And Las Vegas, before we take off, who knows what those boys got into last night and who knows what time we're going to leave. We'll see what happens. Well, here's my first stop, the Riviera. I'm all about the 650 Champagne Brothers sister. I wish Danielle was here, but um, this might be my only stop because depending on what time those guys get up, hopefully they'll get up a little bit later. We'll see. But until then, Champagne I shall have. I text these guys to see if we're still gonna leave at 11. It's now like 10 minutes past 11, so I'm still here at the Riviera. And um, I'm getting my champagne on and having a good little time. I wish that Danielle and my amiga Maria Moreno were here, but it's okay. Maybe next time, right? But um, I don't know. Anything can happen in Vegas. The thing is though, I don't have money, so like, this drink is about it, so what do I do? Go back to the hotel? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Dude, it's 11.19. I've had that champagne. <laughs> and dang it, where's Danielle?